I'm a freshman at a small northeastern college. I never thought those letters were true until a few days ago I had an experience that changed my mind. I just had to share it with you. I had pretty much resigned myself to another night of reading your magazine when there was a knock on my dorm room door. And when I opened the door, I could hardly believe my eyes. There were two of the foxiest twins I'd ever seen, with long brunette hair, legs that wouldn't quit, and firm tits. Whew. How's that sound? Change tits to uh, generous scoops of mouth-watering flesh and uh, have them defy gravity. What do you think? Is this sure good? Yeah, fine. Now, you think they'll know that scoops of flesh means tits? I don't know. It doesn't sound specific enough. Where else are you going to find scoops of flesh? How's this for an opening line? Did you know that Nietzsche died of syphilis? How do you spell zucchini? Z-U-C-H-I-N-I. -I. No, Nietzsche's too obscure. Uh, how about, did you know that Shakespeare died of syphilis? No, she probably knows it isn't true. I don't know what to say. It's not what you say that counts, but how you say it. Use sincerity, it's the best technique. What? Come here. Come here. Come you know, I've never met anyone like you before. Usually when I meet someone new, I feel awkward and shy. But with you, it's different. I can talk to you. You know what I'm thinking without my having to explain it to you in fancy terms? We speak each other's unspoken language fluently. I love you. Oh, Jimbo. That is the most enormous pile of horseshit I've ever heard in my life. Get out of here, you piece of slime. No chick would ever buy it. Oh, yeah? Well, that's where you're wrong. It's how I got Lucy. Jimbo, it's horseshit. Yeah, effective horseshit. Get a life. Yeah.